Solution phase of analysis. Simulate. So after we mesh the model, and we applied conditions to it, such as its material, its constraints, its loads. Once we've done all that, now we're ready to run a simulation. And when we run a simulation, it's going to do a lot of computation. So we're going to go up to the solve panel and we're going to go to simulate. It'll pop up. If there's any errors, it's going to tell you that it has some errors that might have to be satisfied before you can run. So at this point, in order to run the simulation, I can hit run and it's going to start computing. I can hit the more button down here and it'll tell you about any warnings. It's going to calculate these results and so it's computating and it's computating based on the von Mies stress results and I'm just going to let it run at this point and so depending on the complexity of of everything it depends how long the simulate command will take uh, this is a fairly simple setup so shouldn't take all that much longer so we're just going to let it wait but this is the solution phase of the analysis so we have to set up in other words our mesh we set up our material type we set up the different constraints that we want in our different loads that we want and then when that's done then we go up and we solve or simulate. Uh, so we are simulating the conditions in the real world at this point. And uh, so here we got our uh, simulation is done running. It has created our results. And uh, it shows then the areas that are in the most trouble. You can see how this uh, part is flexing. Uh, and where the areas in red and orange are the worst. So this can give us some initial design and say what can we do to change this. So the, the results of our uh, and that, uh, simulation are done and it gives us some information on our uh, basic stress analysis of our component.